What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony TV. Look, do me a favor, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me, man. Like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment. You already know I appreciate your support. Look, guys, today we're going to talk about a topic that's been in the news lately. It's been crazy. If you guys been keeping up with what's going on with Russia and the Ukraine and the gas prices, man. That situation has definitely had an impact on the gas prices. Gas prices have been skyrocketing. So look, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the fuel, particularly what U.S. Foods is doing right now, man, with their fleet. And we're going to talk about them deploying some electric vehicles into their fleet as well, man. So listen, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into today's topic. As you can see by the title, says U.S. Foods further reduces fleet's carbon footprint. Company to transition all California broadline distribution centers to renewable diesel fuel this year. Add 30 electric fleets by the end of 2023. Let's go ahead and get into this article. It says U.S. Foods recently added new sustainability initiatives intended to support the company's ongoing commitment to reducing the carbon footprint of its delivery fleet. The company plans to convert fleet fuel at all California broadline distribution centers from traditional diesel fuel to renewable diesel fuel by mid 2022. In addition, U.S. Foods said it will add 30 electric trucks to its La Mirada California distribution center by the end of 2023. These efforts build on the company's existing environmental sustainability programs. U.S. Foods previously reported a 7.3% reduction in Scope 1 and Scope 2 emissions intensity since 2015 and a 6.9% reduction in gallons of fuel used per case delivered. At U.S. Foods, delivering products by truck is core to our business and we continually work to improve the transportation efficiency of our fleet, said Guadam Grover. Senior Vice President of Operations Excellence for U.S. Foods. Fleet sustainability projects like our RD fuel conversions and electric truck integrations directly contribute to our commitment to reduce our carbon footprint, and we look forward to expanding these efforts. U.S. Foods is one of the early adopters of RD fuel used within the food service industry successfully converting 100% of the fleet fuel used at its Vista California distribution center to RD fuel in 2021. RD fuel is a more sustainable alternative to traditional diesel with a more than 65% lower carbon intensity rating. By the end of the month, the company says it will complete three additional broadline distribution center RD fuel conversions at its Corona Livermore, and La Mirada, California locations. The company also intends to utilize RD Fuel at its newest distribution center in Sacramento, which is expected to open later this year. The La Mirada on-site fueling station will provide RD Fuel to one of U.S. Food's largest localized fleets that services restaurants, hospitals, and other food service operators across the West Coast. In addition to these conversions, to RD Fuel, U.S. Foods will introduce 15 electric trucks to its La Mirada fleet this year with plans underway to install smart charging infrastructure at the facility to accommodate an additional 15 electric trucks by the end of 2023. This effort will be one of the largest single site deployments of electric trucks across the food service distribution industry, the company said. Wow. Let me know what you guys think about this article. Personally, man, I think this is a really good move for U.S. foods and, you know, the food service industry uh, as a whole. I think there are going to be other companies that are going to follow suit um, in the near future if they're not already making plans. I think it's a great thing, particularly from an environmental standpoint. I mean, it's cleaner fuel. I think it's a great move. There's a lot of benefits to renewable uh, energy or renewable diesel. You got the lower emissions uh, and not to mention it's just, you know, a lot cleaner, uh, better quality fuel. And overall, man, I think it's a great move for U.S. foods. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right. 
Look, guys, that's all I got for you today. Remember, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, like the video, drop a comment if you got a comment. Until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Y'all take care. Peace.